Now, if you feel like splurging a bit, you can opt to get the more uh, fancier, um, expensive maces. Uh, these maces are sort of the cheaper ones, the cheapest ones you can get. Um, the more expensive maces are from Martian World are the um, American Scotty and the Premier Mace and Malacca Cane Mace. Now, thing is that with um, the American Scotty Maces is that they're sort of the cheaper equivalent of a Malacca Cane Mace and um, they're patterned more after the Pakistani Mace, which is the, ma the mace that they, sh they sell at um, at Peacock's Marching World. Um, the mace, which is a pa the mace that the, the Malacca Cane Mace that they sell at Peacock's Marching World, is a, pa a, a mace that's made in Pakistan, not England. Uh, the problem is, is, is that um, the problem is that um, you know they're the bar they're sort of bargain Malacca Cane Maces and you tend to get what you pay for, which is crap. So, um, like, I get, they're not really spinning quality, I would say. They're more of just like, you know, show off um, in a uniform, beat time, in a parade. No, no spinning, no spinning involved. The problem is that the material that they actually use to make these maces, um, they are made, they're not made from, like, spinning quality material, they're more made of from pop aluminum. I think they're made from aluminum and they're pop molded like the same way that they make hubcaps. So um, they have been known to um, like, they have been known to completely disintegrate when you do a high toss and um, drop them on the ground. They have been known to shatter completely. Same thing with the um, the Premier Maces. Uh, Premier Maces um, are um, a mace is made by the, comp the drum company called Premier. They're based in England, and the American maces are actually patterned after the Premier maces. Um, the problem with Premier maces is that um, the problem with Premier maces is that um, they, they, the material that they use to make the mace is that um, makes the mace a lot heavier, so they're not really good for spinning-wise or very high tosses. Um, the they're made of they're made of fiberglass like the um, peacocks American maces and they're pretty much very very off balance um, with American maces the balance point tends to be like right around here like somewhere below the chains and above the middle the midpoint so it's sort of perf it's sort of like equip um, I would say evenly balanced um, premier maces the balance point tends to be right around here so it makes um, spinning the mace a little bit awkward. Now moving on to the Dolmen and Narborough maces. Dolmen and Narborough is a company that's based in um, England. Um, I don't know what, what um, location is um, uh, specifically in England, but um, they make very high quality Malacca cane maces which tend to be very pricey. Um, I have an example of one right here. This is the Bell model, uh, I believe this is the plane model. Yes, they have a lot of variety of he uh, model of uh, models which are reflected by the type of head that you have. This is the example of the plane model. They also have the bell model, which is it doesn't have this um, sort of ridge sort of just comes up to a the rim here, and it just it's kind of a dome on top. And they have also the military model, which is sort of looks like the Pakistani mace which the Pakistani mace is patterned after, it's patterned after the, the military model. They also have a cadet model, which is a very small, like, ball-shaped head on top. And then they have the junior model, which is a, which is a mace which is pretty much made for juvenile, for juvenile drum majors, for pretty much um, drum majors are seven years old and under because of their height. Um, these maces tend to run about I believe, I don't know, well, when I bought it, it was, I think it was 250 pounds, 250 pounds sterling, and I think with the exchange rate, it was about um, $700, I believe, so yeah, um, I'm really hesitant, really, really hesitant about spinning this, um, giving really high tosses for this mace. Now, 
Dolman and Narborough doesn't have a website like Peacock's Marching World. What you can do is that you can Google them. It's Dolman and Narborough. And um, what you can do is that you, they'll, you'll probably pull up their email. That's the only way that they do business is that um, you can pull up their email and then you can email them your stats of what kind of mace you want, what their prices are. Um, best thing to do is, call, is to email them and, they'll, and to ask for a catalog. They'll mail you a catalog and you can, you can um, choose what maces you want. When, you buy your, when, you, um, when you're ready to buy your Dolman and Arboro mace, what you need to consider not only what type of model do you want, oh crap, hit the mace on the chair leg, um, what type of model do you want, but um, how tall do you want it? Now, the thing is that Dolman and Arboro maces are custom made for you and only you. Now, that's why if you have a, ma a, a Dolman mace and you borrow another person's Dolman mace, it spins a whole lot differently because of the way it's constructed. Um, it's, it's not really constructed for you for spin your, your spinning purposes. It's just that people are so used to their maces because they're different. Each mace is, each mace is different. Not like these maces. All, the, all these maces are exactly the same. These maces are different, each one, um, because of the wood and the construction of it. Now, what you want to consider is the height of the mace. They still use metric systems, so you want to give your mace in centimeters, not inches. Um, but what I recommend is that your mace, they recommend that your mace come up to your your um, collarbone, which or the, um, your your shoulder, right around here, right where the bone is. They recommend that height. That's kind of tall. Um, that's I listened to them and it, the, it made, they made the mace kind of tall for me. So um, I personally recommend getting the mace like right under your armpit, which or if you spin one of these maces, get the same same. Um, same length as, as these maces. Um, and another thing to consider is, do you want chains wrapped around your mace? To pro and are you really committed to have chains wrapped around your mace? Problem is that chains on a Malacca mace or a, a Dom mace are permanent. Not like these maces where you can take them off. No, these maces. If you put a mace on a Dom mace, they are permanent. They are there to stay, unless you actually take a pair of uh, wire cutters and actually clip them off. They're there for they are there to stay because what they do is that they they insert they install a ring around the shaft and they nail in there nail it in there then they link the chains all the way down to special rings in the in the um, ferrule here. Um, yeah. One thing I consider, I, I recommend if you want to buy a Dolman mace and you're kind of not really looking to spend that much, get the mace as plain as possible. That means no embossing, no engraving. They don't even do the engraving anymore, but um, they used to do engraving where you see a lot of people with, with, with embossed heads with like all these engravings all over it. Um, skip the engravings, skip the collars, skip the rings, skip the crown, just get the stud finny on top. Just get it as plain as possible like I did. You can customize it what you want later because um, like what some people do is that they wrap um, yarn thread around it so that it adds a better grip. Um, yeah, just get it as plain as possible.